Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Okay, some big changes this week in the club and I uh, hope you're gonna enjoy them. As you can see behind me, we've moved Molly from the front of the clubhouse. And we're gonna change slightly how we operate. So check-in now will be in the reception area. As you come into reception, don't forget, mask up. Okay, when we're in reception, check in as normal over there hi Karina and then we are now going to open up the bar from 6 30 in the morning until 12 o'clock for breakfast so the chef and manager and reception will be here from 6 a.m uh, and you'll be having breakfast in the bar enjoy uh, and then once you've had your breakfast and you've played golf you come back afterwards and from 12 o'clock we'll reopen the barn as usual and our Lakeview Terrace for drinks and food from there. Don't forget you can order the food and drinks on the app when you get back or even if you're on the 18th, uh, I know a couple of you uh, quite cheekily, uh, order your katsu curry while you're walking down the 18th fairway and it's ready for you when you get here. It's fantastic. This Sunday, Sunday lunches start again. So they will be served in the barn or up here in the upper barn. So book yourself in on open table or call reception. Right, I'm out here on the ninth fairway of the new course. Been joined, special guest this week is our newly promoted director of golf, Ian Taylor. Here he is. And uh, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about preferred lies. England Golf have allowed uh, all the clubs, and, and we're no exception, to be able to start preferred lies slightly earlier than normal. So, preferred lies mean you can pick your ball up, you can wipe it and clean it, and you can place it back down on the ground within six inches, no nearer the hole. And this is on all closely mown areas, so the fairway, the fringes, etc. But it, it is it's dictated by being cut to fairway height. This isn't applicable in the rough, Unfortunately, you hit it in there, you've got to deal with what you're faced with. Just keep it on the short and narrow and you'll be fine. So, how to do this? So, here's my ball in the middle of the fairway. First thing you must do is you mark it. My preference is to mark it at the front of the ball because you know that then the ball can never go further ahead of that tee mark. So, put the tee at the front of the ball, you can pick it up, give it a little clean, and I can place it anywhere within six inches, no nearer the hole at that point. So I can go six inches this way, six inches behind, or six inches to the left. And all I'm really looking to do is just to find a nice fluffy line. Okay, so another important rule over the coming weeks is our bee greens. So unfortunately they are sitting with about two foot of sand sitting underneath them, so growth has been really difficult. And obviously with the, with the heat and stuff, lots of weeds have come through and they look a bit untidy. So from this point moving forward, we are gonna make all bee greens uh, ground under repair. They will be white ringed over the coming days. The marshalling team will be out there doing so. So if you see them on the course, please give them some time to be able to complete it. However, what do you do in a ground under repair situation? So, as you can see, my ball has landed on the, the B green of the ninth. So the simple rule is, it's nearest point of relief plus one club. Now this is something to talk through with your playing partners. So for me, I would say the nearest point where I'm off the green is that tee there. I can pick my ball up and then I get another club length from there. Obviously no nearer the hole. So again, I put that one down. I don't have another tee, but I would mark it. And at that point, then I would drop it knee high and now the ball is back in place. Now, Agronomy Corner this week, the greenkeepers cannot believe the warmth, the wet, is encouraging the grass to grow so, so quickly. We've lowered the height of cut on all the fairways and the tees, so you should see after a few cuts, and we are cutting every day. The greens get cut every day. The fairways are being cut three times a week at the moment. We're also going to be verti draining all the greens, the fairways, the tees and the approaches. Getting ready for the winter ahead, uh, this will really aid water movement down into the profile and away from the surface to keep that disease away, giving a much drier surface to play on during the winter months. 
okay, I don't like to bleat on about health and safety, but the walk from the ninth green to the 10th tee, I know there's a lovely little shortcut through here. It is only 70 yards longer to go the other way, but we've had our first accident. In fact, we've had two accidents. When you cross the road, this hill here is 44 degrees, okay? Somebody has already slipped down it and we don't want any more slips. You're also in the path of a, a pushed tee shot off the 10th tee and you're walking straight into it. We've already had our first accident. So please walk past the clubhouse. It's only 80 yards more. Uh, the, to the toilet's there, Molly's there, grab a, grab a coffee but please do not take that shortcut through to the 10th tee on the old course. Uh, it's not safe. Congratulations to Nick Lower, winner of our inaugural photo competition with this stunning photo of the lake up on the sixth hole of the old course. Nick wins a four ball on either of our championship courses and we'll be doing another competition very soon. So keep following us on our Facebook page, our Twitter page, and our Instagram account. Look out for that. As you can see behind me, the nets are being refurbed. It's gonna take a week or two. There's more work than we uh, we thought of uh, to start with, but uh, yeah, they should be up and running uh, in the next couple of weeks.